What's happening, everyone? Glad that you're here. So uh, today is a Q&A video. We haven't done a question and answer video since October of 23, and it's February of 24. So it's been a little while. There are a lot of questions. I'm gonna try to get to them as quickly as I can. And as you know, in previous Q&A videos, I can tend to ramble, and I need to really pay attention to that. So I wanna get through these pretty quickly, but still give you, know, you guys some time to answer your questions. There's some doozies in here, so let's just jump right in. And if you're wondering like how to submit questions or where all these questions come from, they come from Instagram. So if you don't follow me over there, go do that right now or do it very soon uh, because I'm pretty active on my stories. I'm always out doing something cool and I like to post about stuff like that. And that's when I will come on a story and say, hey guys, today's the day, we're doing a video, submit questions, we'll put the video out on whatever the day is. So yeah, that's how you uh, submit all these questions. Let's dive in. First question, favorite day or evening fragrances? I'm glad you asked because I just so happen to have them right here in front of me. <laughs> I went and grabbed some that I'm wearing currently. It all sort of, it kind of varies, right? Depending on my mood and what time of year it is. But right now, daytime, these are my two that I'm going to right now. Uh, Zhirzhov Naxos, I've talked about this in a video. Fantastic stuff. And uh, this one I've been going to recently, the last couple of weeks. This is Bay 19 from Le Labo. Interesting one, a little bit floral and kind of fresh. Evening, I've been going to this, I, I'm almost out. Tom Ford Black Orchid, this is the new one. You guys, this is amazing, it's fantastic. It's, it is floral, but it's also got a lot of depth and sort of layers to it. It's, it's kind of smoky. It's really sexy, I think anyway, in my opinion. And, um, but it also has kind of a light floral note, which is becoming a lot more popular in men's fragrances. I think that women, for example, gravitate towards that sort of a sexy floral kind of a note. And on guys, for whatever reason, they kind of dig it. So I'm, I'm going for it. I bought this, I think this spring or summer. And yeah, there's still some in there, but uh, it's, it's getting low. When this is out, I'm definitely getting some more. Highly recommended. Men's manicure pedicure monthly. Do women even care or notice? My thoughts. Um, I don't know if they notice. I would say, let me back up. Yeah, they notice. They would notice. And women, if you're watching this video, comment down below and I, I wanna hear from you. Women would notice if your fingernails are all jacked up. If they're halfway presentable, I think they're fine with that. I don't know. I don't get manicures and pedicures. I remember having, gosh, probably four or five years ago, I went and had my toes done. I was with this woman and we were both doing it at the same time, right? So I got, I got the pedicure done and I got a manicure done and I did not like what they did because they put this sort of polish on my fingernails and I didn't I didn't like that. I thought it was a little feminine for me. I didn't care for it, so I haven't been back. But if it's something that you enjoy, because I will say pedicures are freaking amazing, uh, I should probably go back and get another one because they just feel good. It's, it's a good time having that done. Um, but I don't know if you don't get a pedicure or a manicure, they're not gonna notice. Just don't be all jacked up in dirt and grease under your nails. Keep them clean, keep them cut, you'll be good. Is there a story behind your tattoo? Of course there is, isn't there always? So I have exactly one tattoo on my arm right here. You probably have seen it poke out of some short sleeve shirts on camera. Um, yeah, I might as well, here, I'll show you right now. So it's very cheesy and it's old and faded. And okay, a lot of you guys know that I used to race cars. I raced cars in the Pacific Northwest up in Seattle for almost 10 years. I was competitive. I won a championship in 2006. I'm a car guy, I'm a very competitive person. So in 2007, because I went completely bonkers in 2006 to be able to win the championship, I wanted to take a break. And I, I, I was away from my wife, I was married at the time, I was away from her, I spent a bunch of money, I just wasn't present. That was my main focus, was racing. So I said, I'm only going to do local events around Seattle in 2007. I ended up, I think, doing like two or three events. Like that was it. I was kind of burned out. So anyway, sold the car, sold the trailer. The car ended up going up to Canada somewhere. 
and I heard it was pretty competitive for uh, the next couple years. So I wanted to do something to commemorate the championship. So in 2007, I got this. Um, could it have been a better design? Absolutely. Um, I do think about, on occasion, doing more to it, right? Maybe redoing the outline, redoing the color. I've even thought about doing like a whole sleeve situation. We'll see. There's a lot that I want to... Anyway, there's a lot that I would put on my arm in another tattoo if I were to do something like that again. And there would be a lot, of, a lot more meaning to what I would want to do next. We'll see. I don't have any plans. I did buy some of those like temporary tattoos from Amazon and I stuck them all over my arm just to see what it would look like. And it looked kind of cool. So I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, that's the story. All right, that was a little bit long, guys. I'm sorry, I'll try to get through these next ones pretty quickly, except for this one. Uh, John, <laughs> why you're not married? You have a great YouTube channel. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. I try really hard on the YouTube channel to make content that's relevant to a lot of people in this demographic, right? I am my own demographic. So if I'm going through something, chances are some of you guys are going through the same thing. So that's why sometimes I talk about style and fashion. And other times I talk about self-improvement and being a better dude. And also talk about dating and women and things like that and making a good first impression. So there are Style is only one component of improving yourself at this age, right? I'm 54. I'm not done. And I'm not done trying to be a better dude. We'll get more, we'll get to that. We'll get to that in a little bit. But uh, I was married. I was married for, oh my gosh, am I going to mess this up? 19, 20, 19 years. Um, and at the time, I didn't want to be married anymore. I, I, I don't know. It was, it, was a weird, it was a weird point in my life. And so I ended that marriage. Um, and here I am. So I have not been remarried. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know. Am I opposed to getting married in the future? I don't know. I don't know. Would I get married again? Probably. Probably. Like, why not? Like, why not? I don't have kids. Would I get married again? I don't know. Probably. I'm not against it. I'm rambling. See, this is the problem. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for the compliment on the YouTube channel. I'm currently not married, currently single and dating. And uh, that's maybe a topic for a whole nother video. Um, I don't know if a lot of you guys really fully understand the type of social life that I lead, but if, if you know me in person, you know, you know, um, I don't know, I'll, I'll leave it right there. But um, yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Let's move on. Okay, let's move on uh, from that one. <laughs> do you do some kind of diet, fasting, or supplements? Yes to all three of those. I might make a dedicated video talking about vitamins and supplements that I'm into because I am I'm into that space. Um, yeah, without getting too crazy and like down the rabbit hole, I think it's important. I think it's important and maybe almost to a critical level that a lot of us supplement with vitamins that we might be deficient in. A lot of you guys know I'm on testosterone replacement therapy. I've been on that for about six months-ish, I wanna say about six months. And, and, that's, and that's helping. That has been, when I look back, and I've talked about this in the video where I talk about you know being on TRT and then the update. Um, I'll, I'll move on here in just a second, but it isn't like this magic pill where you start injecting yourself with testosterone and you feel like Superman. It doesn't work that way. Over time though, if you do the right things, for example, diet and exercise, going to the gym like I'm doing now, I think we'll get to that in, in, in a minute, um, you will see drastic changes very fast, like you did when you were 25 years old. So uh, it's, it has been a game changer, but you can't just sit on your butt on the couch and think that everything is going to get better. It doesn't work that way. You're smart enough to know that. Fasting. I was doing intermittent fasting, right? So I basically, you're skipping breakfast. I would eat my last meal of the day in the evening, six, seven, eight o'clock, and then you don't eat again for, what is it, 16 hours. So like noon the next day, I could eat if my last meal was at eight o'clock. Um, I was doing that to lose weight. So, and I did, uh, I got down to about 165. Now I'm trying to put some weight back on, but strategically trying to put some weight back on. So currently I'm on 
boy, close to 150, 160 grams of protein per day. So I'm, I'm all about the protein. I'm all about eating uh, more whole foods now. I eat a lot of eggs in the morning, eggs and ham. Um, boy, a lot of protein smoothies. If I go out somewhere, I'm trying to eat chicken. If I want to go have a burger, I'm having it without the bun in a lettuce wrap. Not necessarily keto, I'm not doing keto, but I am limiting the amount of carbs that I have. And like that processed sugar, I don't eat a lot of candy, things like that, sweets. But yeah, maybe that's the whole video because there has been some significant changes in my life, in my diet, in my exercise routine. If that would be something you wanna hear about, please let me know down below. Now this one is sort of interesting. If you had unlimited resources, what luxury brands would you buy? Clothing, that is. <laughs> we had to make that distinction because I, I wouldn't buy luxury clothing. I would buy cars. I'm a car guy. Um, the answer to your question is, I honestly don't think that I would. If I had unlimited resources, I mean, I have a pretty good closet right now. I would just probably go buy more of the same stuff that I'm wearing now. Um, I'm not into luxury brands. I'm not into... I'm just, I don't, I don't know a lot of like maybe super popular menswear brands. I know of some, and a lot of that stuff's really expensive. I don't, I just don't concern myself with those brand labels in terms of clothing. I really don't care because I think I'm doing just fine in sort of a middle of the road price point scenario. I have some things that are expensive. I have a lot of things that are not very expensive. So, and, and I think I'm doing a pretty good job there. So in terms of like, what would I go out and buy clothing wise? I'd probably just get a couple new suits. I could use like a Navy suit. I would like to have a charcoal pinstripe or a chalk stripe, um, maybe a window pane Navy. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I don't, I wouldn't, I don't know. Love this question, love this question. How do you stay motivated? The truth is, you guys, 100%. You might think I'm just fooling around just to, because you're watching me right now, but no, I, you guys are, I read your comments. I read every single one of your comments. I'm like in my comments every single day. I read everything. Some are better than others. <laughs> but the messages, the Instagram direct messages, the emails that I get from you guys are next level. It's, it's inspiring. And it, it keeps me moving forward. It just, it just, it just does. I have always said that uh, I'm gonna get all fucked up. <laughs> Did not expect this to happen. I was put here to help people. Plain and simple. That's just I don't I don't know what that is or. All right, I was definitely not expecting that. This was supposed to be an upbeat video, but anyway, no, I just. There's something about, I don't know, the, the older I got, the more I wanted to do things for other people. I wanted to help other people, be better people. And, and along the way, like, I feel good about myself. And I've said this time and time again in videos that if you want to feel better about yourself, do something for somebody else. Open doors, buy coffee for the person behind you in line or buy the groceries. I don't know, just do something for other people. I've said this in, in I don't know if I've ever said this in a YouTube video. I've said this in private conversations with my friends and people that I know. If I ever won the lottery, like a big high dollar lottery, besides making sure that I'm taken care of and the people I love are taken care of, I would spend literally the rest of my life giving it all away. And I would, that would be amazing. Okay, let's move on quickly. Uh... <laughs> What did you do prior to YouTube? Did you start as a side, YouTube as a side hustle? Yeah, pretty much. So let me, okay, before I started YouTube, I was a commercial photographer. I owned my own studio, ran and operated it in um, northeast of Seattle. It was a cool little business. It was, it was nice, I was good. During that time, I had lost almost 40 pounds and I needed to rebuild my wardrobe. I'm like 40, one at the time, 40, 42, something, something around there. And if you lose 10 pounds, and I've said this a bunch of times, if you lose 10 pounds, things fit a little bit looser. If you lose almost 40 pounds, like nothing, nothing works. You need to start over. 
So at an early, at, at that sort of early 40s age, what do I go buy? Because I got to buy everything right now. What do I buy that's age appropriate, cool, and, and, and relevant, right? So long story short, once I figured all that stuff out and along my journey, I started a little, a little blog. The blog took off around the Seattle area because I was this 40-year-old dude that was a style blogger, a fashion blogger, because that was a, you know, a, young, a young woman's space. So I stood out. I started making YouTube videos to drive traffic back to the website, right? That's where the, the email capture was, the free giveaway is there. I think it even is still there. Um, and that's where everything was. The thing is, when I made those videos uh, that probably don't exist anymore, actually, I realized that no one was on YouTube talking to the 44-year-old dude and explaining that you're not dead yet. You've got half your life left, man. You can, you can still do cool shit. So anyway, once, once I figured all that stuff out, I doubled down on YouTube and started doing YouTube two days a week. I was like, let me do twice a week. I didn't have anything really else going on. I had moved, I shut my business down in Seattle, moved to California, didn't really have a plan. And YouTube was the only thing that I had. And the blog was the only thing that I had. So I just went, I went all in. And that's when everything changed. Two videos a week. Once I made that commitment, shortly after that is when things sort of took off. And, and I mean, understand that I, I made YouTube videos for, I don't know, five, six years, five, four, something like that. Let's call it five years and didn't make a dime. It was just something that I did as just an outlet, right? And a lot of those videos are down, but um, yeah, it was just, I was working for free for a really long time. And then eventually things took off because I think I, I scratched an itch that was, that was needed in, in this sort of manosphere, if you want to call it that. Underwear suggestions, lots to choose from now. Absolutely. So yeah, um, I'm kind of, I'm not really an underwear guy, but I'm kind of an underwear guy, so to speak. So let me, let me just say this, um, trunks. I'm a trunk guy. I'm not a boxer guy. I'm not a boxer brief guy. I'm a trunk. It's that, it's that sort of middle ground between a brief and a boxer brief, I guess. Trunks. I like the trunks. They fit, they fit me good. And I like how they feel. I got, I mean, I mean, I try it's so dumb. I try underwear all the time. And I recently, I'll show you in just a second what I just got on Amazon because I got bamboozled on a Instagram ad. <laughs> um, I have, so let me, let me say this. Go, go cotton if you can. Um, I've got synthetics. I've got these crazy things. And I'm not like a black underwear guy. I've got these Calvins. These are all this synthetic I got these on Amazon the other, the other day. They're a little bold. Um, I do like the Express ones. They're trunks. Um, and I know someone's going to comment, oh, these, your underwear is stupid and childish. You just need to wear black and gray underwear. Like, okay, you, that's for you. I'm not, I get it. I get it. I just like a little bit of something, something on my underwear. So let me back up. I bought these and I'm not happy with them. I thought they'd be kind of cool, for, for the, see trunks, this is the trunk. And there's mesh in the front of it. Can you see that? Can you see the mesh situation? If you can see that? I thought they would be really breathable. I live in a really hot desert climate in Southern California. And I thought they'd be cool. Cool, get it? Um, they just don't fit very good. And I'm just probably just gonna scrap them. I've, I've tried to shrink them down. They just don't, they just don't fit really well. So to answer your question, I can't really recommend a specific brand of underwear. I have been approached by several underwear companies to make YouTube videos, to do promotions. They send me the, the product. I, you know, wash and dry, wear them around a little bit. And I have not been completely satisfied with any of those things. So I don't make that video. It doesn't make sense to me to say, these are the best things on the planet. And I, and I don't, I don't, I don't wear them. I don't even like them. So yeah, that doesn't make a lot of sense. So I can't recommend a brand. All I can recommend is that I'm a trunk guy and cotton because a lot of this synthetic stuff, these were my babies for like a long time. So you can see their trunks. I like the trunks. They, 
they they hold they don't breathe very well and they hold in some sweat and some moisture and that that makes your junk stink a little bit so cotton is a little more breathable and more absorbent i would say cotton trunks do that and i can already sort of tell that i'm rambling a little bit so let me let me get through some of these um what is your go-to comfort food? Anything Italian, anything Italian, just give it to me and I'll just put it in front of me and in my face. Yeah, I just had Italian food last night, as a matter of fact. There's an Italian place close to my house and it's kind of my regular spot. I get to know the servers and there's even some folks that come in um, regularly, kind of like I do. And so now we hang out. It's like super cool to go there on whatever the day is and meet up with your people because you go there on that day and they go there on that day and we end up sitting at the bar and having a good old time. Your outfits always look smart, but how do you decide what colors to match like pants, tops, and shoes? I've made a few videos recently, like back to back to back, talking a little bit about um, color matching and pairing different items. So um, go check out some videos, just basically go back like two weeks from when you see this video and you'll see those videos on the YouTube channel. But, and maybe that's just a whole video all by itself. Maybe there's like a different way that I can communicate, I guess, how I do that, or at least, yeah, how I do it. Not that that would be like the right way, but how I do it. Hey, let, me, let me sort of play with that idea. Maybe I do something that's a little bit more cohesive and well-rounded um, to sort of get that message across, but it just comes from doing it over and over, you know, and I just kind of something that I'm into and I've been into it for 10 whatever years. Yeah, it's just something that I just sort of know. I'm by no means an expert in any of this stuff. I didn't go to fashion school. I didn't go to design school. I didn't study color theory. I'm not an engineer. I'm not a rocket scientist. It's just something that I'm sort of into and I probably know more about it than most other dudes. So I come here and I talk about it to you guys. So um, let me, let me play around with your question. Maybe I, um, do something specifically that addresses your question because guys are simple, right? Like I want, how do I, what do I buy? Where do I buy it? And what do I wear it with? Right. We, we sort of, we like those types of like analytical this, that, and the other thing. So maybe I sort of make a video and put all that together. Great question coming up. Uh, how do you deal with people's negative comments? And do they affect you in any way? They used to, and every now and then, somebody will say something. And it makes me think about the thing that that person said. Then it bugs me a little bit. But then I have to like, you've got to understand that if you do this, if you put yourself in public, right, like this, you're open to scrutiny. Like, you develop a thick skin really, really fast. I remember years ago, I had a video pop off that one, it was... Um, uh, mistakes older men make trying to look youthful. That video went viral. There's over 2 million views on the thing. And um, when that video came out, I didn't know how to handle comments really at all because I was getting, at that time, five comments on the video. Oh, nice job, cool. And then that video happened and people didn't like me. And that was like, what is happening? Like YouTube was cool up until that point. So it's really, you've got to develop a really thick skin really quickly and just realize that hurt people hurt people. If you're in a good space, like for me, I could not imagine watching a video and leaving a negative comment or talking about the person delivering the message to talk about, you know, their hair or their beard or whatever. Like why, why I don't, I don't understand it. I, I do understand it, but I don't understand it for me. Like, what's the other saying I like to say? People who are winning don't have a problem with other people winning. It's the people who aren't winning that feel whatever they feel or they get triggered by something I said and they just have to like leave a negative comment. I don't concern myself with those people. Like you've got to just keep that in the back of your mind that those people are in a bad place anyway and that sucks for them. I wish there was something I could do for them, but there's nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. So you let it go. <laughs> you can have a difference of opinion in my comments and we can have a discussion. But as soon as you turn, as soon as you let it go down the hate route, 
and just nonsense for no reason, name calling and whatever, like you're deleted, blocked, you're, you're done. You're just done because you can't be intelligent in the things you're trying to convey. So yeah, dude, you just, you get through it. You, you just, you know, you, it is what it is. How are your workouts going? Fantastic. Really, really good. Enjoying it. Um, I'm actually to the point where I'm now enjoying going to the gym and getting my butt kicked by my trainer. <laughs> so part of my New Year's goals were to um, get myself in better shape for several different reasons. One, just for myself. Like I said, I'm 54. I'm not getting any younger. I want to continue to enjoy my lifestyle and my quality of life for as long as I can. The other part of that is that I owe it to you. I really, really do. Why would you listen to me talk about how to improve your life and how to be a better man and how to dress better and how to act better and how to be better if I'm not walking that walk, right? It doesn't make any sense. You would see right through it and I would just, I would be irrelevant. Like why listen, why give me any credibility at all? So there is a little bit of that. It's my responsibility. Um, but man, it's going great. It's been about five weeks, six weeks now I've been in the gym. And uh, like I said, I hired a trainer because I need that accountability, especially right up front because your body, my body was rejecting workouts. I mean, 45 minutes in to my workout, I'm sitting on the floor in a pool of sweat, uh, almost ready to vomit. In fact, I did vomit one day in the bathroom at the gym. That was fantastic. Uh, so my body was rejecting that like, no, this is too hard. Like go back and lay down or go sit on the couch. Anyway, you get the idea, but workouts have been going really good. I'm just starting to see some gains, which is really good because I'm doing the work. I go to the gym twice a week and I've got um, a treadmill, I've got a bench and I've got some of those click weights, those Bowflex adjustable weights, barbells or dumbbells. And I do that stuff here at the house. Like I'll put myself through a workout. I'll go to the go to the gym with the trainer. He puts me through a workout. He's got me on an app that I can do all the things at home. I need to do more cardio. I need to do more cardio just to get my endurance up. But anyway, so far so good. Oh boy, John, it's time. Where is the picture of you in your band days? Yeah, I played bass guitar in a rock and roll band uh, many, many, many years ago uh, out of high school. And uh, I, don't, I don't have any. I'll put on the screen maybe like a picture or two that I have. We didn't have iPhones back then, right? Everything was a film camera and we just didn't carry cameras around. There are pictures of me, but my friends have them and I don't, I've lost touch with these guys. So um, I did go on my Facebook page and I tried to go back and look for some old stuff. I can't find much of anything. So yeah, sorry, I just really don't, they just don't exist. If they do exist, I don't, I don't have them. And we kind of already answered this question, boxer or brief, um, trunks. Neither. I like trunks. Have you ever thought of getting a pet? And if so, what kind? I'm kind of taking a break with animals for a little while. I, like I mentioned a little bit ago, um, I leave a leave. I live a pretty active social life. Um, and so that would, you know, my animal would, would just be in the house by themselves a whole lot. Um, I would get another dog though. I would get kind of a medium to small size dog. I, have, I had a Boston Terrier uh, many years ago. Fantastic dog, just the best dog. I know we all say that, right? Super cool dog. Uh, I don't know if I'd get another one, but I would get something around that size. Eh, he was pretty small. A smallish medium sized dog that doesn't take up a whole lot of space. But I don't know, man, I don't know. I don't, I'm too, I, I'm always, I'm, I'm not home a whole lot. I mean, I'm here when I'm working. I don't know, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to explain. I'm here and I'm nose down and I get a lot of work done in a few days, then I've got plans or I might have a date or I have you know, my, my bro day. I mean, we do a bro day with my, my, my buddies every single week and that takes priority. That's like my that's my appointment every single week. We've been doing it for over two years. Um, yeah, it's just, it just seems I, I'm too, I'm not gonna say I'm selfish, I'm rambling. This is my problem, I ramble. Um, not that I'm selfish, I just, 
I know my lifestyle and I know that I wouldn't be a good pet parent at the moment. How to find the right color combo. Uh, again, I, I've made a few videos in the last like two weeks. So go back and look at a few of those videos because I do talk about that. The Canva color wheel. It's like go to the Canva or search Canva color wheel on Google and use that to help find the right colors that go together. Um, that's probably the best thing that I can say right now, but I might explore this in another video because there was two really good questions that you guys sent in that sort of got my wheels turning. Great question. Am I wrong or do people in their 40s and 50s look better than two generations ago? Yeah, I totally, I totally can see that. What's that one thing that came out, I don't know when it was, a couple years ago. It was comparing uh, J-Lo to, not Blanche, one of, one of the Golden Girls. I'll put it up on screen. They're both 50 years old. I mean, that's, if that doesn't give you the comparison, then I don't know what else does. Maybe there's more skincare. Men are taking better care of themselves these days. I don't know all the reasons, but you're absolutely correct. You see it, I see it, and it's wild. Um, not everyone. There are some people in their 40s that look older than me, and I don't know what they're doing wrong. But, <laughs> but it's, yeah, I totally, I totally see it. Both men and women. It, it's crazy, but it's totally true. What hobby have you never tried but would like to? I think it would, it would be a sport. It would be a sport. Um, I'm kind of feeling the pickleball thing. What's going on with pickleball? It's everywhere right now. And there's a new place that opened up in Temecula. I might go, in fact, tonight, I was, it's funny you mentioned that. I was looking at it last night. Um, today, actually, yes, I can't get there today. I think it starts at two o'clock. Anyway, today that I'm filming this, there's kind of an open beginner's class. It's like 20 bucks or whatever you can get in and they'll teach you how to play uh, pickleball. That would be something, it would be a sport. It, it's some kind of sport, hobby. Um, yeah, pickleball is the first thing that comes to mind. As a food reviewer, I'm interested to know what is your go-to when eating out? Kind of like I said a little bit ago, Anything Italian, I like Italian. I like a good steakhouse, um, like where the, where the steaks are good, good. Um, yeah, I, I, Italian and steakhouses. Those are, those are the places I'm, I'm gonna go. I do like a good burrito though. Like there's a place locally, I don't do it anymore, but I would get their breakfast burrito. Dude, the thing is like, it's huge. I, Monster California, something like that, breakfast burrito. It's two or three meals, this thing. It's like, it's gigantic. Anyway, <laughs> um, I do like a good burrito. I do like, I do like some Mexican, but really Italian. I like American food. I like sushi a little bit. It's been a while since I've done sushi, but Italian food, Italian food and steaks. I don't know how long this video is going to be. It probably is going to be pretty long because I tend to, I tend to do that a little bit. I'm, I apologize. Thanks for sticking out. If you made it all the way through, you got to comment down below because I think this video is going to be kind of long, but let me know that you made it this far. Leave the thumbs up button. And uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, you're probably not watching this video. But if you are, by any chance, if you're not subscribed and you're watching this video and you made it this far, you got to subscribe. You got to, you have to. I've got good stuff coming. Thanks for all the questions. There were some good ones that got my, my wheels turning and be on the lookout for some videos about color and whatever the other question was. I'll go back and look and I'll, I'll put that all together. Good ideas. Thank you guys so very much. As always, live well and I'll see you in the next one.